I'm Taylor and um, Summer actually asked me to make a video for y'all um, just to share my perspective on relationships and how God has worked in my life and given me wisdom and um, actually rewarded me uh, throughout the whole pro process. <laughs> um, he, you know, I was saved when I was a freshman in high school and now I'm a freshman in college and Summer was actually my small group leader when I was a junior in high school. Um, and all throughout high school, I was always the girl who never had a boyfriend and, um, you know, I really felt like guys didn't really like me or if they did, they just didn't, weren't straightforward about it. But then all of my best friends and all of my friends who surrounded me always had the boyfriend, the long-term relationship that lasted like three years, you know, um, and then I was just there like, oh yeah, third wheel, fifth wheel, whatever, um, but God had kind of given me a piece about it when I was in high school, and he had slowly um, given me wisdom about um, really just what uh, I should be looking for in a relationship and um, just having patience about it because that was kind of difficult, um, especially when you saw, you, you know, your best friend always, you know, had a boyfriend or, you know, all, all your classmates have boyfriends and everything, um, and guys, girlfriends. Um, but... Um, he had actually, God had actually shown me that he had better in store for me than anything that I would settle for. So I had a predetermination that I was not going to settle in whoever my relationship was. And God had kind of worked in me, you know, that God is love and God is eternal. So love is a true commitment, you know, and I shouldn't just give my heart away. In Proverbs 4.23, it says to guard your heart because it is a wellspring of life. And I really took that, um, super seriously. And, um, I knew that my future relationship, um, would have to reflect me guarding my heart in, in knowing that it had to revolve around God and that the guy I was going to date and eventually marry, um, he really had to have a heart for God. Or, And if he didn't, then I would be pulled away from my relationship with God. So that was really important to me. And actually, um, one of the best advice that anyone ever had given me was um, to write out a list of everything that you want in your future husband because I knew that uh, I didn't want to go around having all these different boyfriends because I wanted to give my heart and give my efforts to my future relationship which would hopefully be my future marriage um, and so you know I would always I would always actually pray for my future husband and I would e even journal about it you know, write letters to him and just like pray to God, you know, um, that he would know my desires and that he would understand what I wanted in a guy. And, um, my, one of my small group leaders in high school, she had told me, um, to write out a list and I call it my Jesus list. I wrote it in my Jesus journal and just write out a list of everything that you want in your future spouse. Um, anything that you want in your future husband or wife, um, everything that you just desire them to have and I wrote that in a journal and I had honestly <laughs> I'm a little picky but I had 42 things <laughs> and um funny the funny thing is is that at like the end of my senior year in high school I had actually met this guy who had completely um pursued me and he really has a heart for the Lord and he's actually called to the ministry and we've been dating for over a year now actually but um I had pulled out my Jesus list of 42 things that I had um kind of requested to God and I realized that Sanders my now boyfriend <laughs> checked off pretty much 40 things on the list out of the 42 and the two things were loves baseball and loves roller coasters which I think those are kind of minor <laughs> but um really just to the T everything and I just knew that God had blessed me and rewarded me in being patient and waiting and guarding my heart and um he had really just blessed me like he said he would in uh Matthew 7 11 is the verse that my small group leader had used to encourage me to write out a list of everything I wanted in my future spouse, spouse which says, um, If you then who are of evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? And 
I just hope this is some encouragement to anyone out there. Maybe you are in a relationship where you know that God um, is just not being glorified or not being honored. Uh, or if you're just um, that girl or guy who just doesn't seem to have the girlfriend all the time and the boyfriend all the time. Or, you know, you really, really long for your spouse or to meet somebody that, you know, that's just meant to be. Just have patience and know that God's timing is perfect and God is wonderful. He cares about your heart. He cares about your desires. He cares for the best things. He's saving the best things for you. And um, if anything, I just hope I would just encourage at least one person through that um, because I know that God had given me wisdom through this and God had given me um, everything I really needed to be patient and wait for the right person. And um, actually, yeah, so I thank y'all for letting me share my story with you and I hope that this helps. Thank you.